Hi, in this video we'll just discuss briefly uh, how to remove the paper protection from the uh, vision sidewalls. Uh, in each kit we actually included a small uh, piece of sandpaper and the sandpaper, you know, just in case you actually see you know, a flaw or see something that's a little out of the ordinary on any of the edges, uh, all you'll do is actually just take the sandpaper and while it's still dry, uh, just slightly scuff up and down the whole thing and uh, that will actually frost the edges pretty good. Uh, the frosted edges is what actually uh, leads them to uh, give you a really really good uh, visual appeal for the printer. So you know just slightly uh, go back and forth and just kind of like go up and down and then once you're done you're ready for the whole thing then you'll actually take it and you'll scuff all the way up and down and uh, uh, make sure uh, it's pretty even strokes that you're not like taking it and doing zigzags or anything like that. You just want it to actually just back and forth pretty, pretty easy and uh, then you'll get that done. Uh, to remove the paper is pretty easy. Uh, if you look at the paper before uh, we do anything with it, uh, you'll see that it's all frayed pretty good. And the reason for that is because we actually machine these. Uh, it, it gives us far higher tolerances and uh, also uh, much cleaner lines than if we were to use like a laser cutter on it or if we were to use like a uh, CNC router or so. Um, if you look, we leave the paper backing on. Uh, that's mainly for protection so that the sidewalls actually look pretty clean. If you get a little bit of tear on the paper, that's not a big deal. Uh, so long as most of the paper is actually on there, uh, it really didn't actually scrape anything underneath of here. But uh, anyway, what you'll do is you will look around the frayed edges and uh, on each of the sides, try and find a, a little corner that you can peel up and we're just going to slowly peel that, not working too fast. Around the letters is a little more difficult. If any of the pieces actually start to uh, rip, uh, then that's not a big deal. So we're going to actually just kind of like peel this up by hand. And you'll see, uh, as we're going slowly across it, we're not really touching the acrylic itself. It might actually be easier for some people uh, to do uh, the small inner parts of the letters first. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, so long as you get all of it, it's uh, pretty nice. And then uh, as you're peeling it, I mean, if you peel too quickly, then you might actually rip the paper. Uh, this is actually pretty new. Uh, acrylic so it's not such a hard deal to actually peel off the paper from it. If the acrylic were like several years old sometimes the paper is very very difficult to get off of there. And it does rip but uh, anyway there's the backing of that one. So now we're going to go and just using your fingernail uh, just kind of like uh, try one of the sharpest corners on the letters and as soon as we get a little bit on it, we will peel it off. And you work with kind of like the contour of the letter, like the letter S kind of you know, goes back on itself a couple of times. So we're going to take the corner of it and peel and then go back. You don't really want to use any tools like uh, uh, your needle nose pliers or anything because uh, anything that's metal can actually scratch the acrylic and uh, anywhere where it's scratched is going to act like an end of light pipe uh, or the end of fiber optics where you can't really see the light until you get to the very end of it uh, and then the light shines very brilliantly. So anyway, there's the end. The O has two pieces to it and it doesn't really have a corner to really grab onto so makes it a little more difficult to start. But once you get it started, it comes off pretty cleanly. Now if you look in the, uh, the letters themselves, uh, these letters, um, they're actually cut in there at an angle. And so if you see any dust in there, you can just uh, kind of blow it out of there. Uh, the dust should come pretty easily. Um, that's just part of the machining process. Uh, that's the other great thing about machining is that we can control the angle of refraction uh, of the light. And so by controlling that incidence angle, um, we actually put in a cutter that uh, um, 
is made so that it gives us just the right angle so that it, uh, from any angle that you actually look at the Vision 3D printer, uh, so long as the fiber optic lights, or actually so long as the RGB lights are on, uh, you can see it. If you did it with a laser cutter, um, although you would be able to see it, it doesn't quite come off uh, like a neon sign effect that we were going for. So that's kind of an added benefit for being able to machine these. Part of the problem is uh, it's a big machining center to be able to do that. Anyway, so now we're going to look at this back side of here. As you can see, um, on the paper side, um, you can see it doesn't really look like it's actually scuffed it too much. So we're going to actually peel that and look at it and see. If you do sand the edges, make sure you sand the edges before you pull the paper off. It's a whole lot easier to take care of any problems. Now, see that one? I kind of like... Uh, made a mistake. I'm not going to keep peeling it up from there. I'm just going to go to the next corner. See if we can actually peel it up from there. Yeah, hey there it goes. And peeling it up. And what do you know? Right underneath the scuff part here it didn't so much as make a mark on the acrylic. So we're just going to peel this really slowly. Use two hands if you have to. And a little bit of dust that's left over from our manufacturing process uh, as we frost the edges. That's not a big deal. Uh, it, uh, you can actually just blow it off. You don't even need to wipe it off or you know clean it or anything. And there is how you get a clean Vision 3D printer sidewall. So you can see it pretty good. It's uh, kind of amazing if you ever look at a bunch of these machines from the side. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, an eerie feeling because you can look straight down the sides of all of them. And uh, it almost looks like uh, uh, they're sort of just suspended there. So it's a, kind of a neat little effect. So anyway, there you go. That's how you actually uh, pull off the paper. And uh, like I said, uh, it's kind of nice to actually have uh, the little bit of frayed edges here because uh, that gives you a little bit of a starting point for your corners to be able to peel up the edges. So there you go. If you have any problem where you get fingerprints on it or you dust them, don't use the window cleaner. Instead, use just a little bit of warm water, and uh, I like dishwashing liquid Dawn because uh, it's really, really good at getting rid of fingerprints and greases and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, you know, the, you can spend a lot of money on the high-end uh, car uh, kind of chamois and stuff to be able to uh, use the microfibers um, to uh, pull off dirt, but... Uh, uh, pound for pound, a really old t-shirt uh, that uh, is very, very soft and made out of 100% cotton actually works about as good as anything. When you actually, uh, you can wash it, you never actually uh, wipe the acrylic dry when you're actually using like a, you know, you don't use a paper towel, but if you use a, uh, like a t-shirt, um, you can wash it with soap and water with the Dawn dishwashing liquid or, you know, similar dishwashing liquid. But then for drying it, you actually want to pat it dry. You don't actually want to wipe anything dry, uh, like a dry cloth on the sides. And with that, uh, your acrylic panel will look every bit as good uh, year after year.